my name is Nicholas Russell, class of 2024. So I've mostly been involved with photography and a photography club. So um, sometimes I'll be taking pictures of football games and just mainly football games. So I'll be on the sidelines taking pictures of uh, the fans and sometimes up close to the, pic uh, the, of the players. Um, I do take inspiration from the sports photography from Theron Malone. I got into photography right before my freshman year going into the academy but just taking pictures of sunsets. And then um, going into freshman year, I had Miss Tudor, and she was just one of those people who helped me egg on photography. In elementary school, I grew up wanting to be an astronaut. The, the have, reading the library books about all the different planets and all that just kind of sparked my interest in being an astronaut. And then astronaut became a football player. And then a football player became uh, a baseball player. So after high school, I planned to major in kinesiology in college and become a chiropractor, maybe hopefully start my own practice. Um, hopefully photography doesn't leave my background and I can still do a little photography things here and there. So as of right now, I have not made any decisions, but out of the four, I have it narrowed down to Mississippi State University, um, University of Tennessee in, Chatt in Chattanooga, University of Tennessee in Martin, and Baptist Health Science Center in, in Memphis. My favorite high school memory has to be from this past summer. Um, I was expecting it to be a rough summer after um, a rough end of the school year, but a lot of my friends got together and we spent the whole summer just being boys basically and just hanging out and having a good time and just living the best that we can, especially knowing that we're going into our last year of high school. When I leave high school, I'm more than likely mostly going to miss the football games and the Friday nights and just the people in general that I've met along the way. My biggest supporter growing up was my grandfather. Um, he's always just kind of that person that you can call whenever to get advice for. Um, but right now it's just been my friends. Um, they've always kind of inspired me to let loose a little but make sure if I have somebody to go, want to go talk to I can always go talk to them. So. They always have a, we could be funny side, but also know they've got a really serious side if I need somebody to talk to. Somebody at the school that has really inspired me it has to be hands down Miss Tudor. Um, in ninth grade, it was, I had her first period, it was six people in that class. Um, everybody was shy to talk and we kind of just, we all kind of just started talking and at one time and it just kind of made everybody's year a little bit more easier from that year being COVID since it kind of just took everything out of everybody. So no one actually had a light to go look forward to in a COVID year when we go in there two days a week. It kind of just gave me something looking forward to. So come 10th grade, I could be in an advanced photography class. Same thing with 11th grade. I always knew that that was somebody I could go talk to if I need to or with somebody that I can always know. I can go in there and just relax a little and not be so stressed. So um, they definitely have to be used to here for sure. The song called, it's from the movie The Greatest Showman, it's called From Now On. Um, it basically is about um, failing and then getting back up again, or failing and trying again and knowing um, what you're there to do something for. Um, it's just kind of one of those things if I always need just to lit pick me up, it's, I know I can always just pick that song on Spotify and be like, okay, this will, it'll get me in a better mood. My words of advice for the lower classmen, um, live for the present. Don't let something that happened yesterday get in the way of what happened today or what's going to happen tomorrow. Bartlett definitely has shown me some things about who I want to be character-wise. I've always been that person that will listen to everybody and we'll you kind of, I'll sit there and talk to anybody about anything. As long as you can keep your mind right and keep your grades right and you're not stressed about, and you're not stressing over a relationship or what's gonna happen from a week or now, you live for the present, there's really nothing that you can't do in this school. As long as you're basically staying out of trouble, I mean, you can get along with the teachers and you can have friends along the way and then you can go outside of school and you can still have that much fun. I promise you that'll make your high school life so much more better than it already is.